Hi, this is Eric from Ion Software and in this tutorial you will learn how to create a shader that actually reacts to the light and allows you to build something like that, the good old blue marble and uh, where there's light you see the earth's surface and where there's no light you actually see the dark side of the earth with the lights in the city areas. A nifty little trick you can use in your space animations, etc. And uh, I start off with two images. So the night shot of the Earth and, of course, the day shot. Well, due to copyright reasons, I can't include these images in the actual com for download, but uh, I'll actually include it link here. So if you go to nasa.gov, you should be able to find these maps right away. For the actual demo comp you can download, I replace this with some cheesy fast noise tools to mimic the uh, day and night side of the Earth. But in this one, of course, we use the full images. Earth is by default some sort of a sphere, so uh, let's start this with a shape 3D and make that into a sphere and view it here in our 3D viewport like so. Well, on a regular shape we can only connect one material, so either the day side or the night side of the Earth, so we need to find a little trick. So let's build a shader to actually react to the light. Well, to better see that a directional light couldn't hurt. Let's merge that directly with our shape here and view the merge. So if I turn the light you see how it reacts on the original mapping I have here. To mix two images one could use the reflect shader in Fusion. And actually I'm going to connect the night to the background input and the day side to the reflection color material. So in the material viewer you see we already have some sort of fall off going on here but that's all based on the face on strength and the glancing strength here and I want it to react to a light. So let's set this to constant strength for the moment and let me clean up my flow a bit. To make the reflection intensity react to a light I add a blind shader and pipe the output of the blind shader into the reflection intensity material of my reflect node. Let's watch the blind shader over here. However, the reflection intensity of the reflect node is controlled by the alpha channel, not by the RGB channels. And as you see, the blind shader, of course, supports alpha, but that's just a general setting. So if I change the alpha value here, it does change the shader, but that's not based on any light. Actually, let me pipe my reflect node directly in the shape 3D here so we can see that a little bit better. So to provide a valid input for the reflection intensity on the reflect we have to get the lighting information somehow into the alpha channel. To do that we add a channel boolean material and set it to copy the red background value to the alpha channel. So now you see that my sphere actually starts reacting to the light. So if I turn my directional light here, you see I have my day side and night side coming up. Well, of course, we need a much more defined fall off here between day and night. So what I do is I go into my blin and modify the diffuse color. For example, let's set the value to something like 5. So now I do have a much better defined fall off here between day and night side, but the day side is definitely over bright because I now have values on my sphere between 0 and plus 5 depending on the light. So to get around that, we go back to our channel boolean tool and what I want to do 
is I want to map those values from the red channel back to something between 0 and 1. That can be done with the minimum function here. And I actually want to have the minimum between the output of the red channel and solid white. And there you see, I now have a very nice fall off here between the day side and the night side. And if I turn my light, that looks like this. Well, this looks a bit flat. But the cool thing is that I not only can pipe in images to my reflect shader, but actual materials. As said so many times before, all the materials in Fusion are concatenatable. So I can bring in another blend tool here, like so, and put that into my reflect shader. So I actually have a highlight going on on the day side here. Well, that looks a little bit cheesy because what I want to have is lots of reflection on the water surface and not so much reflection on the land surface. But lucky me, I do have an alpha channel here in my original map. So just use that and pipe it into the specular intensity material. And again, since specular intensity is controlled over the alpha channel, I now have my highlight going on on the water surface and not so much on the land surface. And again, this entire thing is controlled by just one light. Maybe go into the uh, specular settings here and play around the intensity and exponent, maybe like that. You can use the same technique with the Reflect tool here to add more realism to your scene. For example, by adding clouds. So what we have here is a cloud layer. Again, you can download that from uh, nasa.gov. Uh, we use Fusion's Luma key to get an alpha channel here from the clouds. Pipe that again into a Reflect shader. Reintroduce the original alpha from the clouds using a channel boolean tool. And then we have a material merge here that allows me to drive a fall-off shader to get that difference between atmosphere at the outside and clouds on the inside. And I actually can use the blend mode here to modify the amount of atmosphere there on the outside. Let's put that on another shape and use the output of our channel boolean here, which defines the day and night side on the reflect shader, and pipe that into the reflect shader down here as well. Reflection intensity material. Combine that with our original scene, and now we also have a layer of clouds that is influenced by that one single light here in my scene. Of course you can spice that up even further. So if we look at the final comp up here, you see our initial setup with the reflect shader, etc., etc. And that can result in something like that. A typical flyby on the earth. Like so. And you will find a couple more tricks in here. So, for example, using another combination of fall of shaders here to render out just that little bit atmosphere like glow which we then use on a bitmap mask to drive a soft glow tool on the final render to add that atmosphere-like effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more cool stuff from your favorite compositor.